everyone. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be talking about books you need for preparation, study tips and guides, as well as creating an effective preparation schedule leading up to the AMET exam on October 17, 2023. So let's dive right in. First things first, let's talk about the books you'll need to prepare for the AMET exam. Remember that IMAT assesses critical thinking skills, scientific knowledge for biology, chemistry, physics, maths, and problem solving. Let's first consider section 1 which includes logical reasoning and general knowledge. For logical reasoning, you don't actually need to memorize things, you just have to develop certain skills to get the question right. There are 7 types of questions and each question has a very specific way to be solved. If you have time, I recommend you to study thinking skills by Cambridge. It has around 300 pages. This Cambridge book really helps you to build up your mind for critical thinking questions because it really helps you to master the thought process. It guides step by step that what is a conclusion, what are the flaws, and what is an argument. But yes, it will require a lot of time and if you don't want to spend that much time, you can simply practice questions from past papers, BMAT, TSA, or any other resources. The next thing is problem solving. So unlike critical thinking, there isn't a question pattern that you can spot straight away. Typically, there are three types of questions often asked, but going in with an open mind is very important as the problems may vary. The first question type often asked is classic problem solving. The second one is interpreting data from tables and graphs. And the third one is spatial reasoning. And for this part, you really don't need any prior knowledge because everything you need to answer is mentioned in the question. And for approaching these type of questions, I suggest you to practice more and more in order to familiarize yourself with different question types. Now comes the second part of section 1, that's general knowledge. It's true that it's nearly impossible to predict that what will be asked in any given year, but that doesn't mean that it's impossible to be better prepared with this sort of questions. Whereas some topics are always somewhat new and others consistently show up test after test. For general knowledge part, I have already uploaded a video guiding you in detail what kind of questions are asked, how can you practice for it and some general tips and everything else you need to know. I have attached the link of that video in the iCard. Let's dive into scientific section. So the very first subject we have is biology. Biology is one of the most vast topic of the IMAT and its actual concepts are not that difficult to understand, but requires more time. The books I recommend for learning biology is Pearson Biology, but if you think you need to get more advanced understanding, then you should go with the AS and A Levels Biology book, or you may also use it after first revision of the Pearson book. For a quick revision of the topics, you can use exam crackers and CAD Biology, but that's just for a quick revision. Unlike other subjects where practice is the key to success, biology requires a large amount of theoretical study and this must be accompanied by exercises that will help you to consolidate the acquired knowledge. And for this, you can use IMAT past papers or this Neil and Campbell's question bank. This book contains topic-wise IMAT style questions and if you need any of the books I have mentioned, just drop a message on my Insta or email. Chemistry is the next subject on the list. The only way to approach this challenging subject is to have an efficient study method based on a well-planned schedule and stick to it with firm determination. For chemistry, you shouldn't be leaping through the books rereading re the same pages endlessly. Chemistry is a practical subject and you are required to solve exercises. For chemistry, I suggest you to study Pearson's high-level chemistry or Cambridge IGCSE chemistry. IGCSE is a helpful resource for reviewing foundational concepts and building a stronger understanding of the subject. I personally recommend starting with the Pearson's chemistry book and incorporating the other resources after the first revision. By doing so, you can build a strong foundation of knowledge and supplement your understanding with additional practice and review. And again, for just a quick revision of the concepts, you may use exam crackers, MCAT, organic and inorganic books. Now comes the last part that's maths and physics. Maths and physics include topics that are typically covered in high school. One peculiarity of this section is that the type of exercises are almost the same and the level of difficulty is nothing but high. If you have a strong basis, you'll need to revise less and focus more on practice. 
If you didn't study much maths and physics, you'd have to work a bit harder. If we talk about the books, so I advise you not to dive into comprehensive books, but rather learn the key concepts mostly repeated in the past papers. The trick here is that the actual questions topic in this section rarely change. So if you master several of those key concepts with a relatively small time investment, you can get some easy points. As I said that for this section, I really suggest you to practice as much as you can. But for a reference, you may use Pearson's high level physics. And for a maths, you can use SAT maths for dummies as it's a valuable resource for improving your math skills, which are essential for success on the IMAT exam. Preparing for the AMAT exam requires a well-structured study schedule and effective strategies. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to study from these books mentioned and excel in the exam. So the first thing is familiarize yourself with the exam format. Understand the structure and content of the AMAT exam. Review past papers and official AMAT resources to get an idea of the question types and difficulty level. Secondly, I mentioned uh, Pearson's books for biology, chemistry, and physics. Start by assessing your current knowledge in each subject. Create a study plan dividing topics over the available time. Read the corresponding chapters in the Pearson book focusing on understanding the concept and principles. Take notes and make summary sheets to consolidate your learning. Complete the practice questions at the end of each chapter to test your understanding. Use additional resources like online tutorial videos and interactive quizzes to reinforce your knowledge. I recommended you to study SAT maths for dummies. Assess your current math skills by attempting diagnostic tests. Identify your weak areas and prioritize those topics in study plan. Read the relevant chapters in the SAT maths for dummies books, which covers the essential math concepts and strategies for the IMAT. Practice example problems provided in the book. Utilize resources such as online math practice platforms and video tutorial to reinforce your understanding. Try to practice uh, math problems regularly from previous IMAT past papers or other math question banks to familiarize yourself with the exam style and it will also enhance your mental math skills. Then comes the logical reasoning part. Uh, so understand the different type of questions that may appear in the IMAT exam. Study the question formats and underlying logical principles behind each type. Practice a wide range of logical reasoning questions from BMAT, DSA or other resources. Analyze your mistakes and learn from them. Gradually increase the difficulty level of the questions as you improve your skills. And for general knowledge part, I'll say that try to stay updated with the current affairs, scientific advancements and global events. Read newspapers, magazines and reliable news websites regularly. Make notes of important events, facts, and figures. Solve practice questions related to the general knowledge to test your understanding. Utilize online resources like quiz, quiz websites, or GCAPs for additional practice. Now, the most asked thing about the study schedule is for making an effective study schedule, allocate specific time slots for each subject based on your strengths and weaknesses. Divide your available time between theory, practice, and revision. Create weekly schedules, ensuring that you cover all the subjects and allocate time for mock tests. Regularly review and adjust your study schedule to maintain progress and adapt to changes when needed. Now it's time for some tips and strategies. So the number one thing you have to consider is practice time management during the exam by solving questions within the allocated time limits. Solve previous IMAT papers, Time, in timed conditions to familiarize yourself with the exam format and improve speed. From study groups or any other resources, find a study partner to discuss and clarify your concepts. Seek help from teachers, tutors, or online forums if you encounter difficulties in understanding certain topics. Take short breaks during your study sessions to maintain focus and avoid burnout. Stay organized by maintaining a study journal or using digital tools to track your progress. Remember, consistency and regular practice are key to success. Stay motivated, maintain a positive mindset, and believe in your abilities. Good luck with your AMAT exam.